Hey everyone, it's Anne here and I'm excited to be with you. Happy Sunday and welcome to our weekly crafting session. I've been giving it a lot of thought and trying to figure out what is the best time to go live and I, you know what, I just like Sunday mornings. It just works better for me and my schedule and my family's schedule. So I am moving forward with going live on Sundays at 10. So you can always pop in and join me at 10 a.m. Maybe you're on your deck with your morning coffee. Maybe you're at the kitchen table or maybe you're cuddling on the couch with a good book and coffee. Either way, I hope you can join us and know that if you can't, the replay will always be in the group for you to watch. I am popping on a few minutes early so Facebook can let you know that I've gone live and it gives me a great chance to check my settings. As you know, my name is Ann Granger and I'm independent demonstrator here in Canada and I'm very excited to be with you. Welcome to my happy place, aka my craft room. I love to spend time in here. It is my like happy place. I love coming in here and listening to music and I just love creating and sharing my passion with you guys. So. I hope you will join me for these weekly crafting sessions. Today, we are talking about, ooh, a beautiful set called the Lighthouse Point. I love anything nautical. And when I saw this set in the catalog, I knew I had to have it. Actually, I think it was one of the first catalog, one of the stamp sets I ordered. I'm just checking my settings here. Oh, that was one of the first sets I ordered. And I'm just getting around to playing with it now. I remember as I said, I always have a basket on my table, my desk that sits with new product. And I don't, it doesn't go on my stamp shelf until I've made some projects with it. So I have sat down and created like a weekly plan for marketing and what I want to focus on. And this week I'm focusing on the annual catalog and I chose to do the, the Lighthouse Bundle. So we are making two projects today. I'm very excited about my projects. I absolutely love the one, um, and I cannot wait to share it with you. Um, and the other one is just as great too. And then I have a bunch of samples to share with you. Um, hey, matey, thanks for joining me this morning. Um, so yeah, I'm excited. So grab your coffee, grab a snack. Maybe you're in your craft room crafting, whatever you're doing, I'm excited you're long on the ride. Um, just so you know, my puppy is at my feet. So if you hear anything, I think he's he's trying to go to sleep. So hopefully he'll go to sleep. Uh, but when I move, he might <laughs> bark or something. Anyways, I'm going to flip my camera. We've got a bunch of things to share with you. Um, and let's get talking and get stamping because I want to share those projects with you. So give me a minute while I flip my camera. And let me know what you're on, what you're doing today. Uh, do you have any plans today? It's today. The weather the last few couple days has reminded me of fall. Not that I am complaining because I love fall weather. I love when it's cool in the morning, warm during the day, cools off at night. I'm tired of heat and humidity. Um, but yeah, the overcast days just making me feel like a little like you want to get your you know warm sweaters out. Not that I'm ready for that yet. But anyways, so. I, it's always a good time to craft in your craft room when it's the fall sets in. All right, I'm going to flip my camera and we are going to get started. So if you're here, popping in, say hi. If you're watching on the replay, please let me know. Um, I did post a little sneak peek of what we were doing, so hopefully more people will join us. And I know I haven't really been consistent. I've been popping all over the board, but I have just decided that 10 a.m. on Sunday mornings works best for me. And I think for my viewers, because you know what? Sunday nights are kind of crazy. Like, I just feel like, especially when I go back to work, I need to get into that routine of getting into work and everything. So anyways, enough chattering. Let's switch over and talk about the Lighthouse Bundle. So give me one minute while I flip my camera. All right. If, let me just see here. Oh. Goodness, we need to figure that. Sitting, oh, Mady says she's sitting on her deck at the trailer watching me. Oh, thanks for joining. Is it, how's the weather up your way? Is it cool? Overcast, it's overcast here. So I'm just trying to uh, make sure my camera looks straight. So if I think we're good now, uh, I just might have to come a bit more this way. So just, let me see here. Just trying to figure out the best for my... Uh, yeah, a little bit more maybe. Okay, I think we might be good. Overcast but no rain. Yeah, overcast and no rain here. Uh, 
No, I think I need to come more this way. I'm trying to get my uh, stamp with and sign in the thing. So just give me a minute. I really should mark my mat. Oh, uh, yeah, that's better. Okay. All right. I think that is better. If you can see my over here in the corner, give me a thumbs up. Okay. So this week, month, if you place an online order or place an order with me, that is more than $50. You are going to get these beautiful leaf labels in Amber Gen. How cute are these? Um, I thought these would be perfect for fall. So you get these gems. But look at these cute little leaf cutouts. How adorable are those? So this month, when you place a $50 order, you're going to get that. And I know some people that already have placed orders this month. Thank you, thank you. Um, yours will be going in the mail next week. I've ordered a bunch. I'm trying to... Uh, be ahead of the game so I will be doing my thank yous early in the week and your stuff will be popping in the mail midweek so watch for that if you've already placed an order in the month of August all right a few things to talk about today so one reminder celebration is still happening and we only have two what three more weeks of celebration which means you can still earn product for free just to let you know the um, Pool Party and Soft Sea Foam are already sold out along with the uh, Tree Lot dies. I know, I know, just so sad. Um, hopefully, maybe they'll come back in the catalog next year. I'm really hoping for that. Those are sold out. Plus, Stampin' Up! has actually came out with an extra set of products that you can earn for free. Um, here is the flyer, some great ones on here, a lot of embossing folders and dies. So, once again, you can earn this with a $60 order or a $120 order. Um, and yeah, I'm excited to show some products that with you. Okay, and today, um, just to show you, we are using, let me show you what we're using. We're introducing to you the Lighthouse Point Bundle. So this bundle is in our annual catalog. And when I first saw this, I was like, I need to have it. I love anything nautical. I love lighthouses. When I'm traveling, I'm always taking numerous pictures of lighthouses because I just find them so peaceful. I don't know, there's just something about them. So when I saw this, I knew I had to have it. Um, so my projects this week has been focusing on this. I'm gonna be sharing them with you today and I will be posting them to social media. And don't forget, if you're in my newsletters, you get the weekly roundup, which means you get, all the, you get a sample of all the projects that I've created. I also wanna share with you some of the projects products that I used that coordinate really well with this set so the lighthouse bundle also the waves of inspiration really works for this so if you were to google this on Pinterest or um, Pinterest is usually where most people go to look for inspiration you will see a lot of people use the waves of inspiration and they also used oceanfront and I used both of these this week in my projects um, so they're great great ones in case you want to add those or if you're a person who likes nautical those are great sets to have I also use the scallop contour dies um, and you'll see why I use those in one of my projects and I also did use the tree lot dies I love these dies and probably will never get rid of them but I just love the trees so I figured well maybe there's a lot of my customers or people watching online that already have these dies they can use them um, so just know that uh, they are not available anymore and hopefully you've already were able to snazz them and hopefully maybe Stampin' Up! will bring them back. All right, so those are different projects I'm using. All right, so let's get started. The first card I'm sharing with you today is actually, let me just move some things out of my way here, is actually a fancy fold. I've been really enjoying my fancy fold cards and I love sharing them with you. I'm working on some classes and I think one of our classes might be a fancy full class starting in October. Okay, so I have a piece that is five and a half by seven, seven and a half or seven and a quarter. Let me just check that measurement. Uh, I think it's seven and a quarter. Yep, seven and a quarter. So five and a half by seven and a quarter scored at three inches. So we're going to go ahead and score that one. Make sure you get out your trusty bone folder because that helps crease your nice things. You have a piece of pool party cardstock that is four and a quarter by four and a quarter scored at one. And you have seen me use this fancy fold before. 
I like showing you multiple ways of using product or a technique because it really does help you. We have a piece for our white that is four by five and a quarter. I'm just gonna put that off to the side. We have a piece that is three by four designer series paper and we have a piece that is two and three quarters by five and a quarter. This pattern paper actually comes from the host set called Celebrate Now, I believe. So when you place a qualifying order of 200 or more, you can order this gorgeous designer series paper pack. It's beautiful and it takes you through all the holidays. So when I saw this night, this night sty, I was like, I need to do a project with that. All right, so let's get assembling. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to adhere our um, fold. So you can see how if I lay that down, you can kind of see our fold coming together. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to put a here our tape. So this is just the seal. And what I'm going to do is just kind of like figure out where I want it on my card, but not basically put it down. And then, oh, try to get my thumb out of there. I'm just going to lay that down flat so it opens like that. And then we are going to cover this up with our tape, like our paper, so that you won't see that. So let me just make sure I'm straight. Yep, not if it's not it's too bad because I can't pull it off. All right, we're going to bring in this designer series paper. Designer series paper. <laughs> and it is going to go right here in the front. And we're going to bring in this one where it's going to be the night sky. And we're going to put this one right here. So I hope you're having a great day. Okay, I have already cut out the dies from the lighthouse point because I just thought that would save us a bunch of time. Um, so I used this die here for this one and I did it in real red. This die here cuts out this piece here, which is in white. I did the top of my lighthouse in black, which is this one here. And then I used this die here to create like, I want to call it like the beacon, the light beacon for boats when they come into shore. All right, so let me just grab my little tape here, my little pad. And we're going to bring in, so this I find is best. You could use these with adhesive sheets. Honestly, I forget about using adhesive, sheet, adhesive sheets. I should use them more. Um, or you can just use Tombow. I'm just going to use Tombow and I'm literally just putting um, them on the, the little strips here. Um, tell me, what are you guys all doing today? I have my team gathering and I'm so, so excited to stamp and spend the afternoon with these ladies. They are an amazing group and I'm excited to be with them. Um, yeah, so we're meeting on that. So if you ever want to learn about Stampin' Up! or what it's like to be a demonstrator, you get some amazing discounts, amazing promotions, sneak peeks, so much more. Um, we would love to have you. All right, so I've just pieced together my uh, little thing and I'm going to just try to see how I wanted to do this because I, yeah. And you know what, I think I'm gonna leave that on there like that just time, just time. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring in our pop-up dots. Let me move this out of my way. So we're going to bring in our pop-up dots. And... Oh, one thing about the liquid glue, when it gets on your hands, it's so... I don't like the feeling of it. All right, so I'm going to bring this in and we're going to pop down our lighthouse. Just like that. And then as I said, this becomes the beacon, so like it's shining the light out into the water. So we're gonna cut this in half. Uh, my sister-in-laws and I went shopping a week ago. We went to a little town um, local here, and I found the cutest sign, and I cannot wait to put it in my craft room. It's about, it has an anchor on it, I just love it. 
it was me. I just had to get it. All right. So there is our beacon. So how cute is that? And let me just see, checking my, oh, and then we're gonna bring back in our, here in our mat. Nope, just this. And I'm gonna bring in, I've already cut this out. So this is from the Stylish Shape Dies. Another great die set to have. If you're a fan of the stitch shape dies, then you're gonna truly love this one. I love the greetings in this. It says, let your light shine brighter than you know. You can use this as a thank you card. Sending love and light, so that could be like a sympathy or a thinking of you. I'd be lost without you. It could be like an anniversary card. Um, you are so loved. It could be like a love card, anniversary, and I'm always here for you. So that could be a totally any way you put it. You could use this for birthdays, masculine birthdays, um, a retirement, get well, congratulations. There's so many different different um, occasions that you can use this set for. So to me, this is a set that you have in your stash that's like kind of a one, you know, you can use it for multiple things. All right, so let me bring in my Memento ink. We're going to stamp up our greeting. So I'm gonna do let your light shine brighter than you know. I think anyone can use that little greeting. Okay, so there, look at that, it's beautiful. Let me put my ink away and put away my, so I don't stick my hands in things. I'm trying to tidy up as I go, because sometimes we can get very messy during Facebook Lives. All right, um, look at that, I got ink on my fingers, so I don't get down on my projects. All right, so we're gonna bring this back in, and what we're gonna do is I'm going to leave this for tape, but I'm going to Ooh, see, this is the thing. I do not want to put adhesive here because guess what? I will close my card and that would not be good. So let's just do a little one there and there. And we're just gonna tuck that in there. So your light shines brighter than you know. And then we're gonna open it up and we're going to put the white in. And you could totally, um, I use leave my cards in the inside blank till I'm ready to give them away because then I can stamp them and know where they're going. So there is our first card for our Facebook Live featuring a fancy fold in the lighthouse point. What do you guys think? Do you guys like it? It's kind of fun, eh? All right, if you're watching on the replay, I would love to know your thoughts on this card. We're going to, as I said, it's a fancy fold. I've used this template many times, so I always like to show you how one template can be done multiple ways. Now, we're gonna move on to our second card, which I'm super, super excited about because I think it's my favorite card that I have created in a very long time. And when I saw this set, I thought when I sat down last week to make my projects, I was like, I see Christmas. What, you know, how fun would it be to go near like a port at Christmas time and see all the Christmas decorations. This has a lot of mo moving pieces. I have actually die cut a lot of it for us already. Otherwise we would be here till midnight. So I figured, you know what? Uh, let's not be here till midnight and I have a team meeting so I can't we are using white five and a half by eight and a half scored at four and a quarter well, That's your standard one card size So let's just do that in and Then we have a piece of that paper again that uh, celebrate host stamp paper collection So it is five by five and a quarter now. I'm not actually gonna put this down We're gonna move this off to the side because as you can see we have lot of moving pieces here that we have to piece together so I was just like let's just leave this here as I said I've die cut a lot of pieces already so let me just show you what I've done so the trees these trees and the reef and there's a little bow in here somewhere these all came from the tree lot dies. So remember I showed you those are the ones with the camper that you could earn for free during celebration. They are sold out. So we already have those pieces. So we're just going to set those aside. 
Then I wanted to create waves. So I used, remember I showed you at the beginning of the video, I used the scallop contour dies and you're probably thinking, why were you using those dies, Anne? Guess what, we're creating waves with them. So these are our waves. Um, we're gonna just use the top pieces to make it look like waves. So we're gonna use that. And then I've already stamped out rock. So what I did was I used this stamped image here and I stamped it in crumb cake onto crumb cake, crumb cake, sorry, crumb cake ink onto crumb cake paper. And I fussy cut them out already because I just thought that would take us a long time. So we already have those. And once again, I've already cut out my lighthouses in real red, white, and black. I've done an extra piece in white. I've done a beacon in daffodil. And then I have little, little rectangles that is also on the, um, from the lighthouse dies. Okay, so let's just move all that over. First, the thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do our waves. So we're going to create them by going like this. Now, you don't want these up. You could put those up and make it look like bubbles on the water. So you can do as many waves as you want. I kind of happy with that. So we're just gonna start adhering and piecing together. Hello, hello to all those that have joined. Thank you for watching me this morning. If you're popping in, we are using the Lighthouse Point bundle, which is one of my favorites. Um, we are making our second card, so you're gonna wanna go back and see our first card. So I'm just staggering them to make them look like waves. And I'm gonna put this last piece down here. So I'm just using my seal. So I've cut four waves out with the scallop contour dies. And as I said, this card has multiple layers, but I'm telling you it's well worth the, like, honestly, it's so beautiful. I can't wait to show you. We're going to trim off these pieces, just like that. Okay. I'm gonna move those off the side. Okay, so we have this, which looks like that. So next thing we're gonna do is we're actually gonna to piece together our lighthouse. Now let me just move these off to the side. All right, so we're gonna bring in our lighthouse and what we're gonna do is we're going to use that Tombow glue again and we're going to so the neat thing about this set is you can just use the die cut standalone, like what I've done today, and you can also stamp and die cut, and I will show you some projects done with that. I have a bunch of samples to share with you. I also will be giving you a sneak peek of what we were doing next in our social media and craft room projects. Okay, so then we're gonna go ahead and put on our black. So if you're a fan of like the East Coast or maybe you, you're local and you have like a couple ports or beaches near you and they have lighthouses, then obviously you're gonna want this set. It's just a beautiful set. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put a little bit of glue in here and I'm actually gonna pick up my take a pick here and we're going to put in this these little rectangle squares because I wanted it to look like the lighthouse had lights on you know at night so it's a night scene here so we're just gonna pop those all in just like that and then just put them down so there's our lighthouse coming together and then what I'm gonna do is just put a little bit of glue here and we're gonna bring in this piece that looks like, I wanna say the railing of the lighthouse. So you know how you have a railing. And then we have our beacon. So that's what that looks like. While I'm here, we might as well put our trees together. So once again, these trees were die cut out. I probably should have used the adhesive sheets for this. Um, I really need to put the adhesive sheets by my die cutting station. I think maybe I would use them more. Tell me, do you um, have this set 
or maybe now you're seeing projects done with this set, you might want to order it or add it to your collection. Look at those trees. Aren't those trees beautiful? Oops, I think I cut out the wrong tree. I did. Okay, we're gonna do a quick mag shift cutting of a tree because I cut out the wrong one. So let me grab a pair of pizzazz and my scissors. I cut out this, the tree dies have three different tree sizes. And of course I cut out the wrong one. So see here, I did the small one and I meant to do this big one here. So let's just put that off to the side. So there's a the tree lot dies, okay? And we're just gonna bring in our um, little mini cut and boss, baby boss, I call this baby boss. Uh, you know, I've had some customers say to me, but Ian, I have a big one, why would I want a small one? And honestly, that's a very valid question, but I'm gonna tell you the reasons why I love this one. I love it the fact that I can bring it to my craft table, or if I'm going to a friend's house or to an event, I can easily take this one bigger than this one. Now, let me just make sure I don't have any pieces underneath me. Uh, oh, I gotta put that away because I think we need it again. Uh, Mamie says, what are Ahisa sheets? Mamie, they are, let me see, let me go grab them, Mamie, and I will share with you. So, Mamie, they're like this. They're, uh, you get them, they're 6 by 12, and what they are is they are Ahisa sheets. So what you would do is you would put your, um, piece of cardstock, so let's say like this, on top of your adhesive sheets. So you would cut it to the size, peel it off, stick it down, and then you would cut out your die, and when you cut out your die, it gives you this adhesive sheet, so all you have to do is peel the adhesive sheet off and stick it down. Really, it's brilliant, and I really need to start using them more. So watch for me to use more of those. Hopefully that answered your question, matey. Let me know if you have any others. Okay, so here is the die. Um, let's just do a quick little glue here. So you would probably want to use those adhesive sheets maybe on like small intricate dies, like this would work them. Um, yes, maybe you definitely need them. Okay, so we have our trees done, so let me just put those over there, and I'm just gonna quickly bring in our um, our little wreath here, and put on our, and then we're all done with the gluing part of things. And then we can start assembling. Okay, so there is our little wreath, there is our lighthouse. We've got our pieces. All right, let me move this off to the side. Bring back in. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to layer my lighthouse down to figure out where I want it. And I should probably put my beacon down. So I'm going to do that first. I was like, where did my dimensionals go? So we're gonna put this down just so I know where it is for piecing. Um, I think I like it there. So let's go ahead and pop up our, our uh, lighthouse. Remember, if you can't catch me live, that's okay. This video will be posted to my blog later this afternoon and to my YouTube channel. So if you haven't followed me on my YouTube channel, come follow me. My goal is to eventually do YouTube lives, um, but I have to build up my YouTube channel. So let's do that so we can do that hopefully in 2023. All right, I've already cut out our rocks. So what I'm gonna do is literally lay the rocks down. Let me just kind of piece them where I want them here. Um, so you kind of want like a few extra rocks. All right, so you see how I kind of built it up? So we're just gonna go ahead and piece those down now. I did pop up my rocks to give them dimension. So I just thought like, oh, this, this was like on a, you know, a shoreline. The lighthouse is sitting there. Put these down. Continue with 
my lighthouses here. Alright, and then we're going to put a couple on the bottom. They're upside down. Oh, erosion. Erosion came onto my shoreline and flipped my rocks upside down. <laughs> okay, so it kind of just looks like that. I'm just building that up. And then what we're going to do is we're going to put our trees down. Actually, I don't know if I want this one up here. Maybe let's put that one up to the side. I'm not sure if I want that one. I might leave that one out just for a minute because I might put my one tree. Yeah, I think I might put my tree there. Okay, uh, let's just cut. Remember, never waste your dimensionals. Put them down the sides. Okay, uh, we're going to put a little bit of tape on here. And we're just going to put this down like that. And then we're going to pop this one up right here. It just looks like it's now we're gonna pop it up or yeah I just think I'll pop it up so there you go there's what we've got so far and we're gonna come in with our little um, wreath here and put a little bit of glue Hang it so the reef is oops there on our thing. Um, let me see. I'm just trying to decide if I want this other rock in here or not. No, I think we're gonna leave that out. Okay, so I just need to grab some little dim. All right, so I'm happy with that. So let's go ahead and put this down. There we go. Okay, so now we're going to just set that off to the side. And I need to grab one stamp set I forgot to grab. So we wanted a Christmas greeting on here. So I am using the trees for sale. This is available in the holiday or July to December catalog, which also coordinated with those tree lot dies. So I'm really hoping Stampin' Up! will bring these both back next year into the annual catalog. Like, how fun would that be? Um, so I'm using the Christmas greetings. I just thought that was a really nice font, and I really like it. So let me get our block out. And we're going to stamp in real red. So let's just put that down. Greeting. I really like how the the designers of the stamp sets are doing the fonts, like some are cursive, some are bold. I really like that look. All right, let me just put this away in here. My ink pad away. Um, okay, I'm gonna bring back in our little baby boss. And I'm going to use the labels that came from the Lighthouse Point. I think I need the bigger one. So there's two labels, which are the perfect size for your greeting. You can, I use like little posty notes to hold my um, die in place. Let's put that there. All right, put that there. Remove this. Okay, say goodbye to our baby boss. He's done for the day. All right, so now we're going to put our greeting down. And we're just going to put a tape on either side. Not tape, but dimensionals. 
and we're not going to put anything in the middle because it's going to lay on the lighthouse itself. And you're just going to kind of put that down so you don't really want it covering your tree. So it's going to look like that. And then the final touch we're going to do is we're going to bring in our, um, I figured our trees needed ornaments because of course every tree needs an ornament. And I'm going to bring in the little red rhinestones. Oh my goodness, I can't get it up here. And we're just going to pop them on the tree. How beautiful are these? I know where we're... I might want one. Oh, I ran out of... Here, I gotta open another pack here. So these are the red rhinestones. They're perfect for basically anything you want to create with. But they're perfect for the holiday season because they are red. And I pick them up here. I'm using one of our old paper piercers. Never get rid of old things. They come in handy. And there we go. Okay, so there is our tree. All right, let me bring you in and show you what our card looks like. What do you guys think? Oh my God, it's my favorite card I've created in a very long time. This actually just came to my head. I was sitting here thinking what kind of cards did I want to make and I was like, I need to make a lighthouse card with a Christmas theme. So here you go. Um, so this was created with the um, lighthouse points. So let's just bring that back in if you're just popping on, maybe joining me late. So that was what we created. This will be on my blog this afternoon or later this evening. And it will also be uploaded. This video will be uploaded to my YouTube channel. Okay, so there is the card we made. Here are the two projects we made in this week's um, Facebook Live featuring the, the um, Lighthouse Point. I would love to know which one is your favorite. Do you like the Christmas card or do you like the fancy fold card or do you like both? All right, so let's uh, bring in some other cards to share with you to show you what we created this week. Just so you can get some ideas of how to use this because sometimes when we see samples that inspires us. This is the one I created earlier. I cased it from our catalog. Um, I just switched out the designer series paper. So the paper I'm using is the Ring of Love which you can earn for free with Celebration. Um, so just a cute, this one I stamped the lighthouse. I used the ocean front behind. So there's that one. This is one my downline shared with me. Um, this is Laura created this. How beautiful is this? I shared this one on my blog yesterday. Um, so she shared this one with us. She did some sponging in the background to make it look like it was um, a sunset. Beautiful, beautiful card. I created this one also. So let your light shine brighter than you know. The birds are from that wave of inspiration. So once I said I brought to you, I brought in some different stamp sets. So there's that one. I made the same card, but I wanted to create a thank you card. So I did it as a thank you. Um, and then those are the ones we, my Facebook lives. I also created this one was from a case for my friend Jamie. I'm always here for you. I thought that was a beautiful card and I was like, oh gosh, I gotta create that one. So thank you for the inspiration, Jamie. And then the last one I kind of cased from Jamie also, but I switched it up and did different colors. I love the navy. So my lighthouse was stamped in gray granite and then the navy was on top. And this one is also a thank you card. So there you go. As you can see, we've created many cards with the Lighthouse Bundle. I hope this has inspired you um, to maybe look at that bundle, purchase the bundle. As I said, it's one of those bundles where I feel you will use over and over and over again. All right, everyone, thank you so much for joining me. I cannot wait to hear what you think of today's projects. If you're watching on the replay, um, 
please let me know. Thank you for joining me. Please know moving forward, I will be going live at Sundays at 10. I just figured that is the best time for my family and I, because honestly, I never know what's happening in the evening and sometimes it's a little busy around here. Oh, so I look forward to seeing you next Sunday. Ooh, I gotta show you. Next week's projects are going to feature the perched in tree with the aspen dyes. How beautiful are these? This die set here is one you can earn for free during celebration. So I'm excited to share this project, these products with you next week. Uh, so be watching for those samples on social media and join me next Sunday morning at 10 for a Facebook Live featuring these two products. But just a little recap, here are the projects from today's Facebook Lives. I hope this inspires you with the Lighthouse Point Bundle. Uh, if you wish to order any of these supplies, you can head to my online store, WW Stamp with Anne. During checkout, place this on this hostess code. You're going to get a free gift from me and a handmade card. Or you can email me your order and I will put it in if you're local to me. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for joining. Have a great rest of your day and I will see you guys in a week. And that week's going to fly by fast. Bye, everyone. Have a great day.